it is important to for uh, diabetics to keep their hba1c less than 7 because hba1c is an aggregate value of the sugars over a couple of months so it gives you a snapshot of the diabetes is controlled now if the diabetes is not well controlled what happens is the, somewhere down the line you start getting complications these include co- mainly complications involving the blood vessels the microvascular complications which involve the eye and the renal complications the kidney complications and the nerve complications and the macro or vascular complications which are uh, because of advanced atherosclerosis cardiovascular heart disease and increased stroke risk all of these are going to increase if the diabetes is not well controlled so that is why we have to aim for an hba1c less than 7 in a patient who is not pregnant while we are monitoring uh, the diabetes control and uh and diabetes control is not a one size fits all solution across all patients it depends on the clinical scenario also this for example in very elderly patients you have to be very careful about uh, causing hypoglycemia and the risk of fall and injury so the glycemic control is a bit lenient in them whereas in your normal run of the mill patients we have to strictly adhere to this hb1 uh, and 7 and more strict glycemic targets uh no see we have got uh, type 1 and your insulin dependent diabetes and the non insulin dependent diabetes there are several other forms of diabetes but those are relatively rare we are a part of your south asian population your india so we have uh, diabetes coming as a part of the metabolic syndrome diabetes hypertension obesity all of them come hand in hand so that in these patients by and large you have a non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus so these uh, patients are generally less prone to going into diabetic ketoacidosis whereas your juvenile diabetes your type 1 diabetes patients they are more prone to going into uh, diabetic ketoacidosis and they are insulin dependent because they do not have any residual pancreatic function so the management in both of these our uh, types uh, of diabetes differs type 1 diabetes is going to need insulin at every step of the way whereas type 2 diabetes by and large in the initial stage of diagnosis it may not need insulin unless there is a specific indication for it or if the uh, disease has been there for long enough that there is beta cell exhaustion and at such a point you might need insulin or there is some intercurrent illness some infection in which the uh, body is unable to uh, process your oral hypoglycemic agent and that, those type of cases you will need insulin in type 2 diabetes